Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Karlberg. Today we're going to be having a look at the ASX 200 or more commonly known as the XJO index, which of course is the list of the top 200 Australian listed companies on the Australian Stock Exchange. So as we move over to the chart, um, what we can tell or what we know from the background in recent times is it's been a bit of an upswing towards growth equities, growth markets and growth assets. And this has largely been on the back of some better than expected or rather lower inflation figures from the US, which has brought down the US dollar and brought more favorable bond yields to the market. And as I said, this has brought about a little bit of a rally. And what we can see is that on the ASX, um, although it hasn't performed as poorly as many of the other um, indices across the world, including in Europe and in the States and also um, in other countries, it's still seen a pretty good improvement in the last couple of weeks. So as we can see, we've got this real choppy, this real kind of range um, that we haven't really broken through. You can see that that was the tolling between 6,300 and 7,600 points on the ASX. And in between, we've got this kind of median or mean um, point at 7,156, although it's slightly more to the upside. It's really acted as a pretty significant level, um, really going back to just before or just the, in, the initial stages of COVID-19, the pandemic. So as you can see, we've been able to break above a couple of times, then fell back down, but held this really strong support at 6,300 and we haven't broken through. You can see that we've actually, bar COVID rather, have tested it twice. And as I've say, stated previously, we are looking at a double bottom pattern forming. So far, um, what we'll do is we'll just make this a little bit smaller so we can see. We can see that we are yet to break above this zone here and we are still in a consolidation and really until we get a strong move above this 7200 mark, it's a wait and see. It's definitely a wait and see and a potentially a pullback down. As we have a look at the daily chart, just to get a little bit more of an understanding we we'll get a little bit of a closer look. We can see that again, we've got have a pretty choppy kind of recent range in this last week or so where we just haven't been able to make a decision one way or the other. And we're moving into a very choppy kind of range where it just goes up and down and up and down. And the other thing is once we combine this with our, um, with our macroeconomic factors, so we know that Whilst inflation has softened a little bit, that fear of a recession is still very real and relevant, and that is driving a lot of the market. So until we see a real pivot from the Fed, maybe in the States, or a real shift towards the end of the year, um, or maybe a softer landing is coming, or some, as I said, interest rate, lower interest rate rising or hikes, we are probably going to struggle to break out of this kind of chop. And it's possible with some you know, further figures that may, um, may be worse than expected. We may come back down, but guys, we are sitting at a really important level and it's definitely one to watch. It's also a really good proxy for growth markets globally. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and good luck trading.